welcome back. Um, I've got a journal to share with you guys today. This is my design team project for um, Artie Mays. It's my first time. Um, I've bought kits from Artie Mays before, beautiful kits. I love them, so I'm thrilled to be working with her. Um, this is the kit called um, Patchwork Botanicals. Loved it. Um, knew that this was the style journal I wanted to do. Um, so I'll just get started with it. This is a um, a six by eight and a half inch journal. I've managed to get two signatures in here, but it is packed. Um, let's see, it's a nine by 12 envelope that I've cut down and then I've sandwiched uh, fabric and some of the uh, wadding between um, the envelope. But then I've also done the faux leather technique. So it's got a nice um, protective finish on it from the, um, you know, the, the faux leather technique itself. But then like I said, with the reinforcing, it, it should hold up pretty pretty well. And then I, you'll see as I go through it, I can point out anything else. So we'll just get started. The front cover, um, gosh, let's see, I've printed out the image. Then I've come back. I've done lots of stitching. And then I've put some vintage trims and laces. I've covered, you know, the this has got a five-hole pamphlet stitch for each signature that's been sewn in. And then I've come in and stitched this um, trim, which has been tea dyed, and I love, love, love that. <laughs> and then that's um, the little um, Tim Holtz metal plate um, attachment. So going inside, like I said, this is really packed full. Um, Oh yeah, I've reinforced this um, because these envelope covers can get kind of weak with time. So I've reinforced that with some muslin fabric. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's still paper, but I've done my best to, um, you know, to, to really make this as durable as I think you possibly could do. Um, I really, really do aim to um, create very well-made journals. And if you've bought from me, I'm hoping that you know you feel that way. But if you're new to my uh, work, I do I do a lot of extra steps that I know I've not seen in other um, process videos. And I actually think I'm going to be doing a um, a tutorial on this process very soon because um, I'd like for you guys to see how I do make my journals and hopefully it'll help somebody else. So anyways, back to the journal. I've left the front and back um, blank this side this time because I love this, um, the collaging of this paper so much and I, I thought, well, you know, Whoever buys this can always add something if they want, but it was kind of nice because I generally end up putting a, a large pocket, but I didn't want to cover the image, so that's the reason I've opted not to put anything in it this time. And you'll see there's lots of pockets throughout anyways. But this is the paper. Beautiful. really like the colors in this kit because they're, they're kind of unusual. Um, they're a kind of a sagey lime... Um, but I love it. It's a really fresh um, color palette, I think, and I, I've been, I really do like it. Um, I think it contrasts the faux leather really nicely. So I've backed um, the pages. Whatever pages aren't, um, that are just plain, have all been tea dyed. Um, so here, these are the tags that come in the kit, and I've just done like an accordion flip out, so you could journal on those. Um, and that's what they look like, the images. Beautiful. Uh, here I've concluded some um, paper I've got that's uh, been run through an embossing machine, so you've got the um, butterflies that have been embossed on there. I created a little tuck spot here. This is one of the uh, postcards that comes with the kit. Really pretty. 
um, here. This is um, uh, this is one of the journaling cards, and then you get these little tickets. So I've stitched those tickets to create another little pocket, and then I've made a, a little tag there. This is one of the um, large tags that comes with the kit, and then I've just made a little tuck spot there. This is a um, one of my double music sheet pockets. If you watch my channel, you know I, I use those in the larger journals a lot. You get tabs in the kit. <coughs> she gives you a generous amount of tabs, which is wonderful. Um, and then you get the little mason jars. So I just um, cut that one out so that you could do journaling there. I've stitched in this pocket. This comes with the kit. It's a big kit. Um, like I said, really a lot of fun to work with. I love the colors um, that she's used in it. This is one of the little bits of ephemera that come with it. So I've just um, zigzag stitched that and then this is a little tuck spot. And this is one of the journal cards. Aren't they beautiful? A um, bit of Edith Holden cookery uh, book page. And then this is um, another of the pages. And I've backed this page with another um, tea dyed page. So here I've done a um, altered paper clip. And she does give you these little banners, so that's nice. And I love these huge tickets that come in the kit. I think they're just fantastic. Um, I've just created a little, another little floating pocket out of some um, tea dyed um, file folder I had left over. You guys can always tell when I'm getting tired. The words get harder and harder to find. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Here's a little glassing bag, um, some ledger paper. I've included um, just various um, book pages I've got in my collection. They're all uh, vintage book page. And then I had some more of the um, floral book page, so I've popped that in there. And then here's another little tuck spot I made, and I love this uh, postcard. Really pretty. This is another of the pages that comes in the kit. And this was an old knitting um, book I've picked up recently, and I thought the colors went nicely with it, so I just folded that up, did some stitching around, made a little pocket. And then here's another of the beautiful tags, or mason jars, sorry. Love these pages. It's, um, it's like you've She's taken something out of an art journal that, without you know us having to do all the work. I love all the texture that that um, page adds to the journal. And here's one of her collage pages. This is the center of the signature. And I ran this through the embossing again and then um, and created a couple more little pockets here. And, and there's just a few little tags. Yeah, I'll show you guys if you can see. It's really, really pretty colors. They're um, very calming. I guess you guys know by now. I, I must be a really high-strung person because I lean towards the calming pap uh, papers. <laughs> uh, this is one of the little envelopes that comes with that. I love that. Here's another one of the pages. Really pretty patchwork. More book page. Um, and then this is just the back side here. Another pocket. I've sewn that uh, in. And then a handmade tag. And this is the other um, music sheet pocket, so you will have to be a little bit careful because it's a little bit fragile. But um, backed it here with um, another double pocket, and I've just added some blank tags. And this is another one of those big tickets. I love those. Those are so sweet. Um, another little pocket here with a blank tag, so you can add some things to. Um, and then we're into the second signature. And here I've just got 
another pocket that's been sewn in with another blank tag. Uh, this one I've run through, um, it's like a woodland um, embossing folder, so it's got a really nice feel to it. This is another of the page from the kit. And then I've made another little tuck spot here, and this is another envelope that comes in the kit. Really pretty. And uh, an Edith Holden book page. Here is another um, garden book I've got. I've created another pocket here, and this is one of the journal cards. A lot of stitching in this um, journal. I think you guys know by now. I try to use my sewing machine as much as I can. I've stitched around this tag. I love these big tags. And then here I've just um, stitched around this and created a little tuck spot there. This is a handmade uh, paper envelope that I've put in. Altered another little um, paper clip. And then this is one of the little envelopes that comes in the kit. This is actually quite a big envelope. I like this one. It's, and then I love the fact she's got the lines in there. You can jot some things. It's so pretty. Actually, that, that would be really cute to include in some Happy Mail, wouldn't it? There we go. Off on another tangent. <laughs> Oh, to have the time to do all the things that's going on in my mind, it would be amazing. Gosh, I'd be such a productive person as well. Because I, at any given time, I've probably got 15 journals that I'm designing in my head and trying to figure out. <laughs> oh, if only I could produce them all. Um, this is another of the um, cards that comes in there. I love that. And then these, these are really pretty. That's a sweet one, and she's done distressing on that. Really nice. And then these little tickets, you've seen those throughout. I've been using them to, um, to go along on some of the pages. Just a couple more little blank um, tags, and this is another um, <coughs> How to Grow Flowers book page. Here, I've done some stitching and made another pocket there. And this is another of the postcards that's included. I think there's about four postcards. And then you get loads of the big tickets. So that's wonderful. And here I've just done a little tuck spot so you can put something up under that. As you could see, it was it's such a full journal. Oh, this page. Um, I folded this down and stitched this backing to it. And then inside, I've done another little mini notepad, and I've just tucked that in there. Because um, this, the, all of the paper in here is 100 GSM, so you've got two of those that have been back. So it's pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy little pocket there. I do love this paper. It's so pretty. It looks like something Tim Holtz would have in one of his paper packs. And I think that's quite a compliment to Andrea. Um, beautiful, beautiful work. A little tag and another of those tickets. It's so pretty. Um, here's just the other part of that um, handmade paper uh, envelope. And then here, these are some of the large... Um, tags. I just wanted them as little flips because I love to have lots of flip places in my journals. Um, another of the tabs, I haven't been pointing those out, sorry. I guess you guys have seen them as I've been going by. Uh, here's just another little pocket I've made and this is another one of the little envelopes. And then some more of that um, patterned journal card. I love that. I don't know, it just has, this kit to me has a really fresh um, feel to it with the colors. Um, here's another Edith Holden book page. Sorry for bumping that camera. And then these, um, this is some more of the ephemera that you get with the kit. 
and another of the postcards. This is another of the pages. So pretty. And this is another really old uh, book page. I think you can kind of tell by the font there. Really pretty. And then here, <clears throat> this comes in the kit, and I've just used it as a little secret writing place. And then just uh, tied that in. And that's the back. Beautiful papers. So, there she is. It's uh, two signatures. Uh, I don't know right off how many pages. I'll have to look that up. And put, of course, it'll be in the listing. But um, thank you guys so much for dropping by to see it. Um, I'll put the link below for this kit um, to Artie Mae's shop. So you guys check her shop out. And I will be back very soon with another journal. Take care. Bye.